All right, we missed him last week because he wasn't well, but he's back. The broadcaster extraordinaire, wordsmith, 2GB host, all of that. Kel Richards joining me now. Uh, let's start with uh, with some place names, Kel, because Launceston, it drives me crazy. We've been uh, talking about getting in and out of Tasmania in marginal seats. Why do we get it so wrong? Well, people don't hear how the locals say it, and the locals are the ones who get really upset. It is Launceston, and if you say Launceston, you really drive them nuts. Mind you, it is named after a little place in Cornwall, and in Cornwall they don't say either of those. They say Launceston with only two syllables. But can I say to the rest of Australia, if you haven't been there, if you don't know, it is Launceston, always say Launceston. Can I add, by the way... Albany in Western Australia mm. is exactly the same. The locals say Albany. They don't call it Albany. Now, you must have heard that occasionally, Peter. It irritates them, doesn't it? Absolutely. And Gundawindi is another one. Yeah, Gundawindi. It's not Gundawindi, it's Gundawindi. Uh, also in the new, north of New South Wales, not all that far from Gundawindi in a sense, is a place which is spelt G-O-O-N-O-O-G-O-O-N-O-O. It's Looks like Gunu Gunu, but it's pronounced Gunna Gunu. And all the locals love having fun with people passing through because they can't say it. Warhope is a difficult one because if you're in New South Wales, it's pronounced Warhope. But if you're in the Northern Territory, the same spelling is pronounced Warkup. So in that one, it actually depends on exactly where you are. But let's try and get it the way the locals say it. That's what they like. Here's one that really gets under my goat and, and I find when politicians get it wrong, it's bad enough, but I've heard leaders, party leaders get it wrong. It's the Australian Defence Force. One Defence Force, so it's a singular term. There are three services under the ADF, under the Australian Defence Force, Army, Navy and Air Force, so services, but one force. Now, I don't understand why people want to turn something which is clearly singular into a plural. Uh, it is Defence Force, it's a, it's a collective noun singular and it must be used as a singular. The other thing they do it with is that period of time that's just ended. Daylight saving becomes daylight savings. Now, that's, I'm sorry, that's nuts. If it was daylight savings, we'd have daylight withdrawals in the middle of winter and we don't have that. They're singular, daylight saving... The Defence Force, singular. It's a big body, as you say, with mm. various components, but a sing collective noun, singular. Use it as such. You're quite right. All right, give us a couple of words, uh, jargon, lingo, that we might get to hit at tonight by the politicians as they start to wind into real campaign mode in this leaders' debate. OK, get a piece of paper and put a little mark every time someone says issue, because everything is an issue these days. Uh, there are no longer policies or proposals or questions or difficulties. There are only issues. They're all issues. Now, it's really frustrating. There's a lovely little book on bad English by an, uh, an Englishman named uh, John Cochrane, and he says, strictly speaking, it's not actually bad English. It's just very wearisome. We are tired of it. Can we have some imagination and some other words, please? But I tell you what, whoever gets the highest score on their bingo card for issue tonight will do really well. Uh, the other one, I don't know if they'll say this out loud, but the word trust is pretty much at the heart of this election because so many of the policies are so similar. So basically, what you've got is a bunch of politicians saying, trust me, I'm a politician. Uh, I've looked up its history. Trust goes back to a Latin source word, trustus, which meant a bodyguard uh, or a retinue of people. Uh, so maybe when they're asking for our trust, they're asking us to trust, trust them to be our bodyguards and protect us and look after us. Does that work for you? Uh, I'm not sure that it works all that well. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes of tonight, uh, and we'll, we'll actually go through the words next week. How about we do that, Kel? Thank you as always. Uh, look forward to your company again.